This call is being recorded. To continue all of this with you, to continue to prepare you for what is ahead and for what you have just done, this one who has given this experience to those of you, it is all in preparation for what is yet coming. Yes, the wave that you hear of or the various waves, all of that is coming. But the event is also not that far off from your understanding of time. But you have to also understand that in order for the event to occur, the collective consciousness of man here on this planet must be prepared and ready for it. For that particular event, that flash of energy, will catapult many from their physical bodies if they are not ready for this. Their central nervous systems can simply not be able to withstand these high energies. So this is why you have been going through this process at a gradual rate now, this ascension process. Otherwise, it would have already happened, and those of you that were ready would have ascended, and those that were not, which would be in the billions, would not have ascended and would have left their bodies. So it was determined by all of us, all of the councils working together with, to bring this entire plan forward. It was determined that the time was not ready. The vibrations were not high enough across the planet for this to occur yet. But everything is speeding up. All of the energies that are coming into the planet are preparing more and more of you, are awakening more and more of you. Yes, to those of you, the light workers, warriors, sharers, and bearers, it appears to be slow. It appears to be that nothing is happening. But we, those of us, the Pleiadians, and all of the other ones that are working with you directly, can assure you that it is happening at a lightning speed at this time. And you are all being ready for that which has been called first contact and the interference that has been spoken of as in prime interference is also in the works. For even this evening as you leave your session tonight and you journey outside, be ready for the show that will come from those of us. <laughs> we are going to be there. It is up to you to open your third eye to be able to see us, but we will be there. That is not to preclude you from having your fun, your dancing, all of this, your celebration. <laughs> And I say now celebration because it is a celebration. It is not just a celebration of the ending of this advance, but it is a celebration of your continuing to move on forward, continuing to advance. And all of you are doing this as you are finding now more and more you are having this, what you're calling the bleed through in the dimensions. This is happening. It is real. It is not your, a figment of your imagination, although your imagination and your ability to image is bringing it on, you see? So continue to allow for the process to continue to develop and move you forward because my dear brothers, sisters, my friends, it is moving you forward, each and every one of you. If you have not already had some of these wild experiences you are hearing from people here, you will have them, all of you. Even those of you that are not able to, what you say, see with your third eye, not able to imagine like others are, to visualize, even those of you will, it will come to you. It cannot not come to you. So allow, again, allow for the process to continue, allow for you to be a part of this, 
and know that you are coming closer and closer either to the mission that you are, have already started or the mission that is yet to unfold in front of you. I am Kara, and I will leave you now in love and peace and harmony and a oneness to come over you and to continue to come over you because you are connected to your higher selves and your higher selves are connected to you. And in so doing, we are all connected together. Greetings to you. One is third here, and Shoshana, are you also standing by? Well, then tell her to hurry up. <laughs> we, we cannot have all day here. <laughs> you, you know, we have things to do, too. We have places to go, people to see, you know. We do not just work only with this group, but largely with this group, we do. This is, is very important as we work with this group. We and are here. Yes, we knew you would hurry up when we <laughs> put that out there for you. Uh, Just kidding, of course. No, yeah. you, you and I, we're not on time, are we? No, no. We're not on this crazy no, no, no. time frame that these people no. are. They are still on this time and space thing. Oh, how wonderful it is when you are able to move out of that. Especially the first time you are able to do it. My goodness. You will not know what has occurred. You will not know what hit you. It will be as if the, the heavens have opened up to you. Is that not right, Shoshana? Yes. yes. Very good. We are ready for questions. We have no message unless you have message. Do you have message, Shoshana? We never ask you if you have message mm -hmm. first. We do not have message in the beginning of this, but we may have something to say at the conclusion of this. Very good. Then we are ready. If there are questions, we were ready to answer your questions. Anyone? I have a question. Yes, please. You need to come forward and uh, come up to your microphone here so those on the phone can hear the question. I'm sorry. Well, this is kind of a mundane question, but Anna Von Reitz is always telling us that we need to do this paperwork to reclaim our birthright uh, status as American, um, as true Americans. And I'm wondering, um, from your vantage point, should we be doing that? First of all, there are no Secondly, Secondly, no, you do not need to do those things. That is 3D. You see, that is still a response in the 3D world. And if you do that, you are just continuing that 3D process here. And as we said earlier to the James to uh, send to you all, we want you now to begin to think of yourselves as not in 3D anymore, but at least in 4D and even 5D if you can. You see? Think of yourselves that way. So if you do that, no need to do what you are speaking of. Yes, it can be important for certain ones, and it will come out that this has uh, been largely pulled over your heads, cover up, you might say, for a long time here, that those of the elite brought this process forward so that they could make money, great deal of money off of your birthright, but that is not the case for you going forward here, okay? So the answer, plain and simple, straight out, no. Can we share yes, please, our yes, please, Shoshana, yes. Sister? Yes. Yes, Can we share? yes, of course. We, we hear some yeah. interesting phrasing from this one that you call Anna uh, Von Weiss, I believe, uh, and her phrasing to reclaim your birthright or your rights or reclaim anything 
is to acknowledge that you have lost it. When, when we acknowledge that we have lost something, is that something we wish to acknowledge? We, we say that beware of those that use this conflict to draw you in. It is a conflict that is caused that draws you know, people into the water. This is my last one in the fridge. Thank you. Please mute your phone. Please mute your phones. Do we wish for unity, consciousness? Do we wish for oneness? then we must put down our guns and not fight for our rights, but acknowledge that we have had them all along. Mm -hmm. Namaste. Thank you. Well, Wonderful. Thank you, because thank that's you. basically how I, uh, how I have felt it. And um, so thank you for that Bravo. acknowledgement. Thank yes. you. This one you are speaking of is in the judicial system, is she not? Yeah. Yeah. She is already ensconced within the cabal world. Not saying that she is part of the cabal, but she is in that particular world. She and is in 3D. Yes, that is correct. That is where we were going here. Yes. Well, I did notice that she didn't seem to see the good side of the family's esoteric practices. And um, so, okay, you, you've really helped me. Thank you. Very good. Are there other questions here? I have a question. Yes. My question is, um, well, yeah, I know that you probably not going to answer completely, but the question is about: Do we need to wait seven billion people get awake when we have the event, or it's not going to be necessary to wait so long? Well, first to of all, wait seven billion. Yes. First, first of all, you are already having it advanced, are you not? Yes. You do not need to wait until 7 or 8 billion people to have your advance. You are already doing that. You are already in right. that process. So the right. answer directly is no. You do not need to wait. But what you are speaking of is not advance, but the event. Is that correct? Event, event. Yeah, I meant event. event. I'm sorry. Yes. yes. I was, so I was and the answer about... to that is also no because it takes a certain vibration. Don't think of it in terms of percentage of people, but think of it in terms of collective vibration. And when that collective vibration has been reached, whether it is 2 billion or 3 billion or 4 billion or whatever it is, when that vibration has been reached, then prime creator, the collective source, of all things, will say, that is it, we have arrived, and the signal will go out. And when that signal goes out, everyone will jump into the gear and move into their various places that they have been preparing, in, in some ways even practicing for this, and they are going to be ready to roll out the red carpet, you might say. Not, figures, not, of course, uh, figuratively, but uh, you understand what we are saying here. And that green Sorry. light, when it has been given by uh, source, when that comes, then everything will take care of itself in the moment that it is happening. For everyone okay. that will receive those energies, and that will be everyone, all life, rather, across the entire planet will receive this energy, and in the moment that they receive it, based on their vibration at that point, that is how they will receive that flash or that vibration that comes in. Okay? How close are you? So Shana, how close are you? We have, we have something to share. May we share? Go ahead. This is for all that hear the word. Must we wait? No. The state of mind known as waiting for human beings causes great frustration for all beings, all humans. We would say, stop waiting. We would say, live. 
we would say do not use the term wait as it will cause great frustration. Yes, go with Good the point. flow. Go with the flow. Let it be. Be in the now. All of these things. Okay. It's a good point about the being the flow because I always say to being the flow and being the now. We Thank think you. it's a very good point. <laughs> yes, and that's why we continue to say it. I know, I know. This is yes, I know. This and for a moment, I forgot about that point. So then you brought me back. Thank you. Very good. Are there other questions here? Yes, please speak up so they can hear all, that all can hear. We cannot even hear you. Oh, my yes. goodness. <laughs> yeah, that, oh is, my that is better. Yeah. That is better, but. Should I go over that? Uh, it's a very simple question. Yes. Uh, uh, I just want to know a definition of the matrix. My goodness, a definition of the matrix. Go watch the movie. This, seriously, watch that movie, and you will understand the definition of the matrix. It is defined directly in there. And all of that, and much of that was in the movie. Of course, it was dramatized and added to, to uh, entertain the masses. But there is so much information in that movie. This is why the James was so uh, entrained in, by that movie. And, and watched it over and over, and many of you here have watched it over and over as well, because there is so much information in it. That is the matrix. And the, what the, the Joanna is doing in her workshop is speaking about the matrix, the divine matrix, the balance. Not feminine, not masculine, but balance. And this is all part of the matrix. The matrix is all around you. That is from the movie. It is all around you, all the time. You see? But it is the illusion. It is part of the illusion. And you will understand that as you watch that movie or as you listen more to the workshop of Joanna. She, she did not come by this workshop accidentally. did not just come out of the air, or, well actually in some ways it did come out of the air, it came out of the, uh, the unity consciousness. It came out of the matrix. Came out of the matrix, there you go, there you go, very good. Anything to add Shoshana? Yes. You already did add, but anything yes. more? Yes, he would say, he would ask, he would ask if we may share our perspective with you. Certainly, thank you. We would say to you that for all that have participated in this advance and all that have participated in the workshop and are confused or do not quite grasp the terms that were being used, that for the benefit of all concerned here, that you ask the question when we continue the workshop and then all will benefit. Okay, I'll be yes. asking you. Not much. And in very simple terms, think of the matrix as a program. That may help you. All right. Because uh, I had difficulty understanding the movie, so. <laughs> well, Joanna is telling me that she cannot wait to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> and we think that James will have something to add there as well, Doreen, if, if it is allowed, if the Joanna allows it to. Uh, you know there is the push and pull between the two of them, but it is wonderful. This, this, this connection that they have is wonderful. This connection that they have allows for all of you to be here. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> And don't we love it? And we are using <laughs> this connection. You have to understand. We, the Company oh. of Heaven, the oh, Ascended yeah. Masters, the Galactic, the Adarsons, we are all using this connection that they have here. Mm -hmm. Walking uh, in town. May we share our perspective? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Divine balance. 
We are just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been taking lessons from Robin Williams too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We're serious. We do take lessons from Robin Williams. He, he is really here. Anyway, we move on. Are there other questions here? I have a question. Oh, and, and by the way, we, we just need to say this here. We loved what occurred last evening. I know. And you're letting go. You all let go and became the children. Not even so much the children. You became your higher selves. You allowed for that integration to come in and be who you are without thinking about anyone else, what they thought, or anything of that nature. You were within yourself and allowed yourself to flow. And that was beautiful. Now, are there other questions here? Yes, please. I have a question. Yes. Hello, is it my turn? Can you hear me well? We hear you, yes. Thank you. So this is Nijia, and um, the answer of this question, I hope it would help us to understand better uh, the nature of our existence. Uh, so the question is, when we, we need to fix something um, in our past, do we literally go to the past and change it, or um, do we, by raising our vibration, we tune into a different self, a different parallel reality where that past is different, th different, sorry. So, um, yeah, and insight on that, please? The answer is yes and yes. Okay. In other words, you can do the first one that you say. You can go back into the past. We have given this to others before to do in terms of your past life regressions, you can go back and find the source and, and change the memory in that respect. That works very well with the three-dimensional consciousness to understand that process. But we say yes to the second part of that. You do not need to do that. That first part, you can go directly to source and surrender whatever it is and it is done, if you believe it is done. You see, it is the same thing as in the last advance. Do you remember when Yeshua came here and came through this one, James, and materialized to you? And he did materialize right here in this room that you are sitting yeah. now. And he said at that time, if you believe, if you believe it will be. In other words, if you believe that you can see without glasses, you'll see without glasses. If you believe you can walk without a limp, you'll walk without a limp. You see? If you believe that you can look in the mirror and see yourself different in the morning when you wake up, you'll be different in the morning when you wake up. If you believe that whatever illness you might have within you is gone, it's gone. You see? So it does not take needing to go back in time because there is no time anyway. So why go back to something that is not even there? Because it is only in your mind that it is there. You see? Past, present, future, all are one. All at the same time. The past is happening right now. The future is happening right now. Okay, does this answer your question? Shoshana, we know that you have something you want to share here. May, may we share our perspective with you, dear sister? Yes, yes, of course, dear Shoshana. All that has been given by the one who serves is a very advanced step to take. Belief is difficult for many. Believing something could be true and then changing it within the snap of the fingers is difficult for many human beings. So we will offer an intermediary step that will reinforce for all beings the belief. And this is what we will offer. 
When we have I, a memory that is wedged in our quantum field that we call the past, we know there is no past, but we call it the past, this memory is wedged into the quantum field for all to access, including the emotion, the pain, the suffering that is attached to that memory. What we would suggest is that the being that is reinforcing the memory in themselves, therefore reinforcing the memory into the quantum matrix, go into that memory and change the way they see it. Change the perspective with the intention of changing it for all past generations and all future generations that all beings would benefit from the new perspective. That is how we change the matrix and the memory. Namaste. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. There was one who shared. I have a question, please. Yes. I was going to say your honor. I'm sorry. <laughs> he would like that. He likes that. <laughs> I like it. And I like him a lot. <laughs> they are a they, by the way. A they. <laughs> and actually, we just need to jump in here. We do not like that honor thing. We because, are joking. Yes, we know you are, but we want to make sure that they know you are. You see? This is just as if Joanna and James are in the room. Yes, yes. that is correct. We're joking. Anyway, moving on. Okay, I would like to know what is the difference between the mind and the brain? Did you not get that answer? I got two different answers, and I would just like to know the truth as they saw it or I see it and I still may, don't I'm may sure. we share? Yes, please, so yes, Sana, yes. I know you're going to share. Yes. Because you're the one who said May we share our perspective <laughs> with you, sister. I would love it. You have the answer. I do? Yes. And the number of times you ask the question to others that you wish to find the answer from is actually a way of confusing yourself. So it is very simple. The brain is a mechanism by which the human analyzes, disseminates, thinks in this 3D realm. It is a mechanism, and the mechanism enters into the matrix mind to find answers, to find solutions, because the brain itself cannot come up with solutions. It can only cogitate. It can only analyze. It can only take the data and then analyze it. So the mind is the matrix. The mind is the quantum field by which all information exists. The brain simply accesses it and then brings it back to the human. Oh. Very good. Then we have something else to add here. You hear the term? May I finish? Oh, please. <laughs> we thought you were done. And my dear sister, does that answer your question? Yes. Uh, you see, sometimes when I ask a question, and maybe others. They will say, this is how it's done. But they never give us the tools to help us understand to do it. And it's just sometimes the words are used that we don't know and understand, and so we can't understand what is being said. I, myself, would like, with all the answers that are being told, that sometimes, like, say, you should believe. That, you're, that this is going to happen. Okay, now I will think I'm believing, but I'm not believing because it, it isn't happening. Now I'm not talking about my eyes right now, but I think as a teacher, I've always been a teacher all my lifetime, and someone told me that. And when I teach, I try to put it in everybody's level 
that they can understand with examples or a way of doing it. But like somebody's trying to manifest something, they say, I don't know how to do it. Now, is it all just because we have to believe it? Or are there steps that we can take to make us get to that step that it can happen? That's all. My, my goodness, dear sister, you have been taking these steps for a long time. Well, thank you. Over and over in different ways. We have been working with you in many different ways. Go back to the time. Cynthia, are you there? Yes. When we first began with you, did we not speak in different terminology then than we do now? Oh, very much so. Yes, yes. It was like we were talking to a child back then. But now you have grown greatly. All of you now, we speak about this. We can speak to you in terminology now that is more cosmic in understanding because in your, you have moved largely out of your 3D illusion, not all the time, of course, but a lot of the time you are out of it and you can begin then to grasp the higher levels of your being and the higher sciences that are there for all to begin to be able to understand. And we need to go back here for just a moment to the brain-mind understanding. And you hear the term when a doctor says, oh, this one is brain dead. You know what we speak of here? The one is brain dead. In other words, their physical body is now going to be gone as well because the uh, cannot live without the body cannot live without the brain. So the brain is done. But are you done as the mind, as the consciousness that continues on? No, you are not. You see? Hope this helps for you. Thank you. Yes. Are there? Yeah, I, I have a comment. Yes. Um, with our celebration last night and all of our dance, I kind of felt like uh, some of the ascended masters were on the floor with us. I want to know if that's true. You know the answer. I know. They were there. <laughs> were they dancing? They were there dancing with us. And we are going to add here, just wait till this evening. Oh. All right. You getting on the dancing shoes there, one who serves? I can actually kill Not them. the one who serves. No, we're not going to be there, but there will be others that will be. I can ask if you me. allow it. We will. May I, may I ask? Yes. Um, I, I used to go out on Friday nights and dance, and I, I, I don't even need a partner to stand. And I can still sometimes feel down there with me. Yes, of course. They are your partner. Yes, that's beautiful. Your partner. So cute. <laughs> Thank you. And dear Ginger out there. We're getting this from the James, the ginger. Yes. Oh, me? Yes. Oh, my God. Ashtar is saying, uh, get ready. Oh, oh, oh. I'm ready. She's born ready. She's disco lady. That was just the warm up last night. We heard that. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Are there other questions here now? We need to move on and uh, release channel here shortly. Are there any other questions? I have a question. First Hello? one on the phone, and then we take one more here in room. Hello, this is Karen. Um, I just have a yep. question. The meditation that we did last night to connect with our higher selves, and we go through the various layers, the various bodies, physical, astral, etheric, causal, mental bodies to the Rainbow Bridge. As we were doing that, I just had the question, where where does our emotional body fit in? Or where, where does it fit or exist? Emotional our emotional body, body is your astral body. The astral body is the emotional body? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I have a question. Yes. Um, there's been a, uh, there's a certain bringing it up, bringing it up, 
uh, happy for next to be uh, regarding the death. Um, someone here, in the brother here in the room also had a uh, his, uh, his higher self as a death. Um, and there is uh, a term now being said, which is an event or something that occurs this month, which is called awakening the death. There is something you can uh, tell us about that. We do not quite understand what you are referring you to. You share. Yes, please do. Yes, and you understand. May we share our perspective? Yes, sure. It is simple, my dear sister. We know that the dove for the humans represents peace. Is that not correct? That's true. Well, then when we say awakening the dove, what is meant here is awakening the dove within yourself. Awakening that dove within you so that you may become an entity of complete peace. Mm -hmm. It is very simple. Does that make sense to you? For sure. Thank you. Namaste. Very good. Are there any other questions here now before we release channel? May we say our final message? Yes. Can we do so first, though? <laughs> <laughs> What is, what is your saying, sit for that? So cute. We only wish to say here, just to keep on keeping on. Keep on being who you are. Keep on letting go of the old you. And we speak specifically, the old you. The old you is gone if you allow it to be. If you are up in the ages here, be young again. Be young again. Believe it and become young again. Look in the mirror every day and see yourself as growing younger, not older. Do not see the wrinkles. Look beyond the wrinkles. See that there are no wrinkles anymore. If you focus on the aging process, you will continue to age. If you focus on the rejuvenation process, you will rejuvenate. And you will be ready then when the, uh, the event comes and all that comes with it, and as well as the various technology that is then released to the general public. It is coming. It is coming. It is going to come out slowly at first. But at one point, it will be as an avalanche, and we'll continue to gain momentum and momentum. And then all of these devices that have been held back from you, and even ones that have not been introduced yet here on this planet, will also be introduced. Get ready for it. Shanti, peace be with you. Be the one. Shanti. Dear brothers and sisters, you are the beacon. You may not realize this in this moment, that you are no less important or no more important than all the pieces of the puzzle that exist on your planet. But the pieces of the puzzle that you are are the beacon. You are the beacon of light. You are the beacon of hope. You are the beacons of understanding. You are the beacons of advancement. And we will say to you, to take this seriously and to learn all that you can in every moment to participate in this great ascension process for all that will ascend as you will be at the top of it. You will be the one, as the one who serves has said so many times, reaching back to assist others. Yeah. Reaching back in your love. <laughs> reaching back in your compassion for those that wish to rise up as well in their advancement and their consciousness. Do you accept? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. truly accept? Oh, yeah. 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 Then be those beacons and do not confuse yourself as to what that 
mean, or how to do it, just be it. Namaste. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.